What's up YouTube? This is GeForce from XTS Gaming with some Medal of Honor fire team play. The one thing I like the most about Medal of Honor's gameplay is the fire team aspect, where you work with your fire team buddy, resupplying each other, providing each other health, and working together on maneuvering around the map and supporting each other with fire. There's also an advantage if, if someone kills your fire team buddy and you avenge them, they're able to spawn back in much quicker. In this set, we're using, I'm using Spec Ops, and my fire team buddy is using Point Man. And the per perks balance out because some of the fire bonuses, like the UAV, are very helpful. The Spec Ops can use his um, scan vision to pick out enemies, so you can find out where the enemy is. And this is being played in immersive mode, so the only time you ever get that mini-map down below is if their UAV is up. And if the enemy's UAV is up, the Spec Ops can use the Radar Jammer to try and uh, reduce that detection. And there's a, an example of a revenge kill or avenge kill. With this fire team ca combination, it's very complementary because both the Spec Ops and the Point Man move very quickly and can keep up with each other. If you have a Spec Ops working with, say, a Demolition who can't move very fast, it'll be hard for the Demolition person to keep up with the Spec Ops person, and thus hindering the amount of resupply and healing that can go on. But with this combination, it was very effective where we were on top for five or six rounds in a row basically as the best fire team, moving around the map, flanking people, able to take them out, the point man with the high powered ammo and the spec ops closer in with the, uh, in this case I'm using the AK-103 bullpup. Very effective weapon. Spec ops scan vision becomes very effective when you're looking to find where the enemy is. In that case we at least knew where the enemy was ahead and how close they were. Don't know exactly where they are but you get a good idea and the, it doesn't last that long, so it doesn't overpower this particular class. With your fire team buddy and he goes down, it's good to wait for him to spawn on you. That way you can move around the map together and support each other. If you go lone wolf and you get caught on a lot of two-on-ones against other fire teams, you're going to lose those firefights most of the time. So it's always good to stay with your fire team buddy so you can keep him supplied with ammo and health and vice versa. Also if their special talents and perks can detect the enemy like there with the um, vision scan you can pick out the enemy and be able to engage be prepared to engage them. I hope you like this video on Medal of Honor fire team cooperative play. It's very tactical and if you liked it please rate it up down below, this is GeForce from XTS Gaming signing off.